Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about casting an object. Before watching this video, you're going to want to have a general understanding of polymorphism in Java. For more information on that topic, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. Some important facts. Casting objects allows us to convert a reference variable to another type. Java will upcast a variable automatically. We must downcast a variable manually. We'll have some examples of this later on. Let's look at some classes that are in a superclass subclass relationship. We always say that a subclass is in an is a relationship with a superclass. So a mammal is a animal and a lion is a mammal. We could also say lion is a animal. The animal class has an eat and a sleep method. The mammal class introduces a control temp method. The lion class inherits the eat method from animal. It also overrides the sleep method and it adds a new roar method. Next let's write some code. We'll start by declaring a reference variable, gen, of type animal and setting it equal to a new instance of the lion class. The reference variable is placed on the stack and the instance of lion is on the heap. This is called upcasting and is done automatically by Java. We call it upcasting because the object lion is cast up to the animal reference variable. When upcasting, the variable type determines what methods are available to call. So, eat and sleep are available to be called from gen. The object type determines what version of the method is executed. Eat is inherited all the way down to lion. However, we override sleep in the lion class, so it'll call the version of sleep in lion since it is pointing at an instance of lion. Next, let's call the two available methods from gen. We call eat and sleep, which is legal, because as mentioned before, there is a version of both the eat and sleep methods in the animal class. Next, we try calling roar from gen. Even though gen is pointing at an instance of lion, since gen is a reference variable of type animal and roar does not exist in animal, this is illegal. Now let's look at another example that's a little more complicated. We're creating a new reference variable, Susie, of type lion, and we're trying to copy the pointer from gen, so it'll also point at this instance of lion. This will create an error. The reason for this is out of caution, the Java compiler is concerned that the reference variable gen may not be pointing at a lion. It could legally point at an animal or any other subclass of animal like mammal. Because of this, it doesn't want to let us copy the pointer to our new lion reference variable in case gen isn't really pointing at a lion. Next, we're going to look at casting an object so we can see how to do these two things legally. Here, we are casting the reference variable gen to a lion. Notice the extra set of parentheses. This is to ensure gen is cast as a lion object before we try to call the roar method. This is legal because we are assuring the compiler that gen is in fact pointing at a lion type object. Next, we are creating a lion Susie and we are casting the gen reference variable as a lion. We are assuring the compiler again gen is in fact pointing at a lion, so it is comfortable copying the pointer to the new reference variable Susie. We call this downcasting because we are casting an animal reference variable down to the lion subclass. Next, we are going to look at a final example. Here, we are declaring a reference variable Joe of type mammal on the stack. Then we are having Joe point at a new instance of mammal on the heap. Here, we try casting Joe as a lion. This will generate an error because we are assuring the compiler that Joe is in fact pointing at a lion. 
while it will compile, we will end up with a runtime exception because the Java will realize that Joe is not actually pointing at an instance of Lion. The specific exception we will get is a class cast exception because we cannot cast Joe as a Lion if it is not pointing to a Lion or a subclass of Lion. For more information on this topic, you can type Oracle Java casting a class into Google and there will be a number of good articles you find. To see the next video in this sequence, please click on the video link in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right hand corner of the screen.